how's the squad looking ahead of the Southampton game in terms of fitness or players missing in, with injuries? How's it shaping up? Yeah, the last part of the season, no more international break, so it depends on us how many games we're going to play for the Premier League for sure. But the FA Cup and Champions League, we'll see what happens. And yeah, so we know exactly. So win game, we are live. No win, out. How's Erling Haaland? Yeah, training in the last two days really good, so we'll be we'll be ready. Does he need to get minutes for you in this Southampton game to be ready for Bayern Munich as well? Bayern Munich is the last uh, thought, so it's Southampton. So Premier League is every day, every week, every week, and um, not depends on that. You're facing Southampton for the third time this season, and it's the third different manager that you'll face for the club. Um, have you ever known that before in your career? More than times, unfortunately. So before it was more difficult to sack managers, today is uh, around the corner. So you get results, you are in danger. Does right. it make it almost like preparing for a completely different side then each time as well? Or can you still take aspects of the games where you faced them previously? But if you would, the manager was appointed uh, yesterday, it would be difficult, but already uh, played yeah, a few games. You know, with the new manager, so and the patterns is quite clear. Uh, and uh, but now every every team is playing for something, so it's the same important fight for the Premier League than fight to be in the Premier League. So that's why every game has his uh, own characteristics and. And you have to be ready because Southampton always have been so tough there since uh, the day we made our hundred points in the ninety four minutes and the game the day we we won they were much much better than us and after games that we play really good we draw and we draw so always have been a tough tough games and I had the feeling that tomorrow will not be an exception. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, when you let uh, Sinchenko or Jesus go to Arsenal, now you're in a really close title race uh, with Arsenal. Uh, did you think they were going back to haunt you like this? Um, fight for the title race, Arsenal? Arsenal is in 10 days, I think so, in two or three weeks. So, yeah, But the uh, points for Southampton is still a part of uh, the title race, so how do you yeah, see uh, Absolutely. Uh, and Leicester, and of course Arsenal, and after Arsenal, just in case we, we, we have a, uh, a good results. So, if 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 we if we draw points, Arsenal will be champion in advance. If uh, we win, 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 we will be maybe we'll be champion at the end, the last game of the season. So this is what is going to happen. Uh, when you play matches so tight like this, um, how difficult is it to keep one match in mind? We are used to, so it's not a problem. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hi Pep. Is there any benefit whatsoever in playing? before Arsenal over a weekend. I know you've done it both ways. You've been involved in so many title challenges with other teams, but the last few weeks, it seems, when you've both played, you've played before Arsenal. Is there any benefit to that at all? Mm, I don't think so. I don't see advantage. So sometimes when we make a title race against Liverpool, sometimes we play before, sometimes late. What do you have to do? Sorry. What do you have to do is win our games. We've seen Frank Lampard return to Chelsea this week. I think when he got sacked from Chelsea before, you suggested you'd like to take him out for dinner. I just wondered, did you ever manage to do that? With that Frank? Yeah, Frank. Uh, uh, no. No, we saw him, yeah. We were in touch when he was in Everton. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure now we'll be busy. So maybe we're in the end of the season. But good to see him back and get another chance? Yeah, of course. Of course, so new opportunity in his lovely club, or the club he's in love. So, uh, yeah, so new challenge for him. And you spoke just a moment ago about modern times in terms of managers being sacked. It's a record number of managers sacked this year in the Premier League. Lots of managers talk about time, but what do you think from the other side? What is a fair amount of time for managers to be judged on in a job? It's fair. The, the, I think that the sport directors or the owners like uh, take a decision to keep the manager alive or sack him is how he works. 
of course the results are so important, but now he works every day and and what uh, it was your plan more or less it works. And after this question of time, it's going to happen. But uh, in this country, when I was younger, I always had the tradition to keep the managers, you know, whatever happened today with the different owners, with a lot of pressure for everyone, a lot of investment. So in, in, in one side, I understand. So everyone has a lot of pressure, the manager, the board, and everyone. And, and always the people believe to change because they believe they get, will get better, get better. Sometimes it works, sometimes don't. So, yeah. So it's what it is. You have to adapt, and I think all the managers knows it. So you get results, okay. You you have work. If it doesn't ha happen, you always will take a risk. Thank you. Uh, hi, Pep. Uh, I just wanted to ask. Um, up at the back, sorry. Um, yeah. Southampton signed a, a number of players from City in the summer. I just wanted to ask what you've made of their progress, particularly Lavia's made a, a big impression. What, what have you made of them? i really impressed what Romeo has done. It's doing. So we we have, we had and we have an incredible opinion about him. And uh, of course, he we thought to, to keep him, but of course we thought maybe we didn't have enough minutes and like, that he had in Southampton. Uh, I'm so sorry for Juan Larios because he's an exceptional guy and he was injured most of the time. And uh, Samedozi, I lost a little bit his pace because I didn't see him much. So, uh, but yeah, good experience to go to the Premier League and you know and and play in the in the Premier League and then this early age is is so important. Pep, on, on Erling, does he need any extra care on the minutes he's going to in that, have? In that, in that moment, we don't need extra care individually. What we need is about the injuries or what will happen. But in terms of physicality, in that when you are two months ago, it's not about not going to train to earn you know, more rhythm or less rhythm. Jao is sleep a lot, eat well, and... And what we do in the training session, do it well, focus, and and that's all. And on the the manager's situation, you yourself never being sacked. Is it is it because you you knew how long to stay, where to stay? No, no. I will tell you the secret. We will win games. If we don't win games, I will be sacked. This is not a secret about that. It's not because I am. My hair is better than the other ones. So. I'm not sad because I win. We win a lot of games during these years.